let's talk about in-class essays. If you have an in-class essay on a prepared book, such as To Kill a Mockingbird, there are certain things you can do to make sure you're ready for whatever question is thrown at you. First of all, and it might seem obvious, understand the book. If you maybe skim through some parts of a book or didn't understand some of the main themes or plot twists in the book, make sure that you know everything that happened while going into the essay. You want to feel as confident as possible about this book. Whether that means talking to teachers or friends or people that you know that have read the book, do whatever you can to make sure that this book is something you know like the back of your hand. Adding to that, make a list of themes, symbols, and characters that are relevant to the book. It's very helpful to write a timeline of a character and track their changes from the beginning of the novel to the end of the novel. Also, it's a good idea to read over important scenes, especially if you haven't read the book that you're writing about for a couple of weeks. If there's a scene that stands out as being a turning point for some of the characters, reread it and maybe highlight what it is about this scene that makes it so important. This is a good way to re-familiarize with the book before the essay. If you're allowed to have your book with you during the essay, make sure to have already highlighted important quotes before you enter the room. These can be quotes about themes, characters, or symbols. If you are not allowed to use your book in the essay, make sure to have memorized maybe three or four important quotes that you can sprinkle in your essay. Most teachers don't require this, but it always enhances the quality of your essay. Also, prepare possible thesis statements before you enter. Even though you won't know the question that you're going to be asked, if you can think of some good arguments beforehand, it will be a lot easier to think of an argument when you are presented with the question. Now onto a different type of essay, which is when you walk into the classroom and are presented with a poem or prose that you've never seen before, which you then have to read and answer a question about. My very first advice about this is don't be scared if you don't immediately understand what's happening in the passage. Most of the time when you have to analyze a passage or poem for an essay, you're in AP English, which means clearly the passages and poems aren't going to be designed for you to understand immediately what's happening. Read it once, and then read it again, and then read it again, and then read it again until you start to understand what the piece is about. Highlight seemingly important phrases. What I mean by this is, if you don't understand yet what the passage is about, but certain phrases stick out to you for whatever reason, highlight them. I guarantee you that they are supposed to be important. Notice paragraph or stanza breaks, depending on whether you're reading a prose or a poem. Why is the author separating the passage at these specific moments? Look for differences from the beginning of passage to the end of the passage. Was there character development from the beginning to the end? Did you learn new things about the character, or did the character stay the same? And if the character did stay the same, why do you think that's so? A lot of the times these passages or poems are from hundreds of years ago, and you're not supposed to understand every word. Don't fixate on the words that you don't understand, and just try and understand the piece as a whole. One little word isn't going to be the make or break moment of your essay. Very important, notice the tone in the piece. Is it ironic, melancholy, nostalgic? The tone in the piece has a lot to say about what the overall meaning of the piece is about. Don't forget about structure. Whether you're going into an in-class essay with a book or without a book, or whether you're reading a poem or a passage, the structure of an essay can make or break your performance. Let's go over some things to remember to have. Clearly, we want a thesis statement. And the better the thesis statement, the better the essay. If you start off with a really strong thesis statement right off the bat, your essay will be much easier to write. If you realize by the end of your essay that you didn't prove exactly what your thesis statement was say saying, but a slightly different argument, go back and refine your thesis statements. For me personally, I always have a different thesis statement from when I start to when I finish because I always change it. Remember to try and be grammatically accurate. 
usually teachers won't be as strict with grading grammar and spelling because they know you don't have ch a chance to reread your work, but it's still not something you should forget about. This might seem simple as well, but remember to have a topic paragraph and a conclusion paragraph. Relax when you're taking an essay. For me, all of my worst essays were done when I couldn't get over my nerves about what to write about or what the passage I was reading was about. You have to just clear your mind, take a few deep breaths, and dive into the essay for the next 50 minutes. If you second guess what you think the piece is about, you're never going to turn out with a good product. Even if you do get some details about what your piece is about wrong, if you have a well-structured essay, you'll probably get a high grade anyway.